Hannah's Day Coven. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bethany. I am the Yogi Witch and today's brand new video is actually a sneak peek of my Journey to Spitz workshop exclusively available on the Om Coven membership. So the Om Coven is a private membership area here on my YouTube channel where for as little as five pounds a month you can get two one hour long flows, also some yoga challenges including 108 Surya Namaskar challenge and a seven day uh, splits journey challenge and you also gain exclusive access to a private yeah, Facebook page where we come together as an online coven to share spell tips, yoga tips and to genuinely just connect with beautiful souls from all around the world. So this flow today is from my splits workshop only available on the Om Coven tier two. You can find out all details about this membership area in the description box below but I really hope you enjoy today's flow and I hope to see you again on the mat soon. Namaste Kevin, welcome to the mat and welcome to day one of the seven days of splits workshop. I am so excited. First and foremost, just a little thank you to you for signing up to this brand new tier of the Om Coven memberships. I cannot express how much I appreciate your love and support. And as a little celebration of this brand new tier, I have devised this journey to split seven day workshop. So over the next seven days, we're gonna work through seven 30 minute flows to activate the hips, find our flexibility, work on our mobility, work on our strength, and most importantly, work on our confidence to come into the peak pose of monkey pose, also known commonly as the splits. So this is gonna be really, really gorgeous. So going in with the idea that we're not going to come to the splits at the end, at the end of the seven days, but rather we're on that journey to splits, Splits is an incredibly deep peak pose and sometimes it does take a lot of practice to come into them and but as with everything in yoga it is not about the end result it is about the journey it's about the exploration of your practice both spiritual and physical so I am so excited to begin today's practice with you. So in day one we're going to work through a really gorgeous mandala style flow so just bringing our mind to the mat opening up that circle for this online coven and kind of explore where our hips are today before we move into some mobility drills further on in the days. Stop talking Beth, okay. So to begin today's practice, you're gonna to come to the back of your mat in a child's pose. Bring the big toes to touch, take those knees wide, and just give those hips a little bit of a wiggle down to the heels now, as you begin to relax the body all the way to the mat. And we're gonna activate our child's pose straight away by pressing the palms down, lift the elbows up, and relax the forehead to the mat. Opening up this circle by joining our energies by taking a deep inhale in through the nose. And take a slow exhale all the way out. So you might choose to come into stillness straight away in your child's pose or you might choose to walk those hands out a little bit further forward and start to wiggle from side to side, so you're starting to tune in to how the lower body is feeling. Starting to balance out the breath, your inhales with your exhales. before we start to add in a little bit of movement. So from here, you're gonna lean the body forward ever so slightly and tuck the toes under. Press the hips back to the heels. It's all right if you have to walk those hands a little bit further out now. And then all together we inhale. Exhale, walk those hands as far over to the left-hand side of your mat as you can go. Getting a stretch down the right-hand side of the body, stretching out those tippy toes. Beautiful, inhale, walk the hands through center, exhale, send it over to the right hand side. Mm -hmm. 
inhale those hands come back into the center press the palms down and round into the spine as you roll the body through tabletop and drop the hips to the mat come briefly into upward facing dog and tucking those toes here as we inhale exhale tuck the toes back and the hips to heels take this movement a few more times inhale to roll body forward drop those hips come to upward facing dog and then exhale hips to heels really start to find that length through the crown as you inhale and then exhale send it back two more times Beautiful. Now this time when you go to send the hips to the heels, tuck toes under, bend into the knees and we lift the hip bones to the sky. Come straight away into your first downward facing dog. So beginning to pedal out those legs here, we bend into one knee, we bend into the other, nod the head yes, shake it no, anything that feels good to you. Really focusing now on pressing those heels down to the mat. So start to lengthen out those hamstrings. Hamstrings are a super important muscle that we need to help us feel comfortable in our monkey pose, in our splits. And also help us feel comfortable in poses such as down dog and in a forward fold. And then from here, we're going to move straight away into our hip focus practice. Day one, bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, we sweep right leg to the sky. And we're going to scorpion tail this leg. So lift the gaze, pull those tippy toes as close to the head as you can. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Round into the shoulders, draw the knee to the chest and step between the thumbs. Lower that back knee down. Untuck the toes and inhale, sweep arms up and overhead to crescent lunge. So we bend deep into that front leg and pull the arms up and overhead here. Inhale. Exhale, press off front foot and we send left toes over to the right hand side. Walk that front foot further into the centre and relax the arms into a T-shape. Coming in to a gorgeous modified warrior two here. Screwing the hips and the chest off of the side of the mat before we start to take some movements. Inhale to extend front leg. Exhale, bend back in. Inhale up and overhead. Exhale back in. And one more time, we inhale up and overhead. This time on your exhale, keep the front leg extended. Right hand comes down either to the top of the quad or slide down to the shin as you pull left arm up and overhead come to gate pose so focus on pulling that left hip back to the sky we gaze towards the fingertips hold for five four three two one keep that front leg extended as you roll the body up trust your body and then left hand floats behind you we lift right toes up and come in to a full body balance here. Option to stay here, option to bend into that leg, take hold of the knee and press the hip bones forward, gaze towards the sky. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep right leg floating as you bring right hand to the mat and pivot on the left knee. From here, we're gonna take five rounds of our fire hydrant. So flex into the foot and lower the right knee to the left, but it's hovering off the mat. From here, we inhale to lift, exhale to slowly release down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Three more times, inhale for three and lower. Inhale for two and lower. Inhale for one 
and lower beautiful point the toes send the leg behind you bend into the knee tuck left toes under and we meet back in split dog here begin to draw a beautiful big circle with this right knee in one direction move and take it in the other Beautiful. On your next inhale, we lift the gaze, come to Scorpion Taylor, holding five, four, three, two, and one. This time, we draw the knee to the chest, step between the thumbs, and keep the back leg up. Lift all the way into a high crescent lunge here. So bend into the front knee, pull the hands back, and press into that back heel. Holding three, two, and one, lift the body, pivot back foot can parallel the back of the mat and this time right foot follows left foot, hands to the hips, <laughs> I don't think this through, we inhale to lift the gaze, exhale shift weight to toes, draw the heels down and begin to forward fold. So we're going to start to um, Start to lengthen out those hamstrings a little bit more. It's fine mobility in the hip flexors. So you're going to start to walk the hands closer into you. Bending at the elbows like you want the top of the head to come down to the mat. Keep shifting your weight to the toes. We hold. Two more breaths. In through the nose and out through the nose. Before we inhale, lift the gaze. Send that left hand over to the right foot and pull the right arm to the sky. Hold your twist for three, two, and one. Take it to the other side. Send right hand to that left foot and pull the left arm to the sky. Hold three, two, one. Left hand comes back to the mat, but this time we're gonna walk our way to frame that left foot. Pivot on the back tippy toes here, and then wiggle left foot just outside of the mat, ready to take our lizard movements. We move off the toe, move back, forward and back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, yes, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Press into that back heel, lower the knee down, untuck the toes. So you can choose to come onto the side of the foot. You might choose to even drop down to the forearms or you can even go a little bit deeper by bending in to that right leg. Left hand reaches round to find the foot and come to bound lizard. Holding here for five breaths. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out. It's quite intense. You're gonna feel an incredibly deep stretch uh, on or in that right quad. We hold for three. We hold for two, coven. And for one, relax right leg down. Left hand to the mat. From here, we lift first back onto the hands. Lift right leg. Step to plank and take your vinyasa. So press off the tippy toes. Lower all the way down. Inhale, find length in upward facing dog. Exhale, hip bones back to the sky, downward facing dog, and we pedal out those legs. Bend into one knee, bend into another. Ready to balance out the body with the left hand side. Bring big toes to touch. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky and scorpion tail your down dog here. Lift the gaze if you're going to touch the top of the head. Holding five, four, three, two, one. Round into the shoulders, step between the thumbs, lower the back knee down. Untuck the toes as we inhale, sweep arms up and overhead. Exhale, come to crescent lunge. So bend deeper into this front hip. Pull the hands to the sky and find a little mini back bend here. Holding three, 
holding two and one bring that body back into the center and gently pivot right toes to the left hand side walk that front foot into the center and forwards to come in to that modified warrior two so bend deep into that front knee ready to take our movements inhale to extend the front leg exhale bend back in inhale to extend exhale bend back in one more time we inhale to extend and then keeping that front leg extended transition to gate pose left hand can sit at the top of the thigh or you can bring it down to the shin pull the right arm to the sky gazing towards the fingertips for three more breaths in through the nose and out through the nose for three two and one with control lift the body up having faith in ourselves here right hand floats behind us lift the back leg up either coming into a full body balance or bend into that knee take hold of the knee and press the hip bone forward holding here for five four yes legs are shaking for three two one keep left leg floating as left hand comes to the mat and we pivot on the right knee ready for five rounds of fire hydrant coven we flex into the foot and lower left knee to meet right but it's hovering off the mat inhale lift for five and lower for four lower three for two yes and for one lower back down point the toes send the leg behind you one two three we lift back in to split dog before scorpion tail it lift the gaze pull the tippy toes to the top of the head inhale exhale draw knee to the chest step between the thumbs find your way into a high crescent lunge here sweep the arms up and overhead bend deep into the front knee press into that back heel all oh, my balance yes you've got it holding for three for two and one pivot that back foot to come briefly with the back of the mat into a gorgeous warrior two so wiggle that front foot forward as we inhale exhale extend the front leg bring both feet parallel as we come to a wide leg forward fold so hands to the hips we inhale for length exhale begin to forward fold here so shifting your weight to the toes but keep the heels glued to the mat we don't want to walk the hands out we want to start to walk them in bending at the elbows like the top of the head is going to come down to the mat holding for three holding for two and for one ready to take our twist send the right hand over to that left foot and pull the left arm to the sky holding for three for two and one walk the hands through center we send left hand over to the right foot and pull the right hand to the sky holding for three for two and one relax right hand down but we begin to walk the hands back to the top of the mat pivot on the feet and find our way to our lifted lizard so we walk right foot outside of the mat keep the back leg strong as you move forwards and back forwards and back for ten nine eight seven six five four three two 
and one. Press into that back heel, lower the knee down and pivot onto the side of the right foot. Stay lifted, move down to the forearms or even join me in a bound lizard by taking hold of the back foot. Keep the breath flowing to the belly, you've got it. We hold for three. We hold for two. Yes, Kevin, and for one, relax left foot down, right hand to the mat and lift the body all the way up. Beautiful, bring right foot down to the floor, tuck left toes under, lift up, oh, step back to plank and take your vinyasa. Inhaling to find upward facing dog. On your exhale, we take hip bones back to the sky, come in to downward facing dog and we immediately keep the flow going. Bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, right leg to the sky, bend this knee off to split dog and begin to draw your circles. Moving and taking this circle in one direction. Move and take it in the other. On your next breath, meet me in that scorpion tail, lift the gaze. And then on your exhale, draw knee to chest, step between the thumbs, one, two, three, we lift to standing split. So lift left leg to the sky and forward fold over the right. Yes, keep pulling the tippy toes high. We hold for three. We hold two. And one, with control, step back with that left foot and pivot it with the back of the mat. Roll the body into warrior two, walk that front foot into the center and send it forward, screwing the hips and the chest off with the side of the mat. Inhale, exhale, extend front leg and find your way into your trikonasana pose. Keep pulling this top hip back and pull left arm all the way behind you to open up the heart. We hold for three, we hold two, and one. Gaze down to the front foot, bend into the front knee, lift the body up. From here, we bring both feet parallel, Ooh, and then toes point to the corners, heels come in, hands to heart center, taking 10 rounds of goddess pulses. When you're ready, we sit low for 10, lift. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, you've got it, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Hold your goddess pose for five, four, three, two, one, extend the legs with control. We pivot both feet to come facing towards the back of the mat. Take as much movement as you like, but we're gonna step into standing splits, just a little bit of balance. Bend into the front leg and lift the back leg all the way up. Squaring those hips off and drop it into alignment. With control, we transition to standing split, hands to the mat, pull right toes nice and high to the sky. Inhale. Beautiful, on your exhale, step back with that right leg and we immediately, hello push tat, we immediately pull left leg to the sky. Oh no, your paws are wet. Bend the knee off into split dog and begin to draw your circle. So moving and taking this circle in one direction. Move and take it in the other. Whew. 
Final flow on your inhale, lift the gaze, scorpion tail. On your exhale, draw the knee to the chest, step between the thumbs and transition to standing split. Pull the right leg as high as high as you can go, forward folding over the standing. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Step back with that right foot, pivot the foot so it comes parallel to the back of the mat and roll that body a little more gracefully than I did into a warrior two. Screen the hips and the chest off with the side of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, extend front leg and find your way into that gorgeous triangle pose. Gazing up towards the fingertips. For three, oh my God, my leg's shaking. For two and one. Gaze down to the front foot, bend into the front knee, lift the body up. Hands to prayer and feet come parallel. Ooh, ready for those goddess pulses. We bring the heels in, point those toes to the corners of your mat. Ready to take our pulses. We lower for 10, lift, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, so even lower. For four, for three, for two, and for one. Sit lovely and low in goddess pose. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the front leg. Gently pivot the feet to come face the top of the mat. Ready to step in to Flying Warrior. Bend deep into the front leg and lift the back leg up. With control, we drop the hands down and come to standing split. Hold three, two, one, step back left leg, step back right leg, final vinyasa, we press off the tippy toes to come to plank, drop from the top or drop from the knees, it is completely up to you. But we inhale, find upward facing dog, glance back to one foot, move through centre, glance back to the other, bend the knees, cross the ankles and come in to a gorgeous seated position. Inhale, we take the arms high. Exhale, twist to the left hand side. Yes, inhale, move through center sweep, both arms up and overhead. Exhale, we take a twist over to the right hand side. Inhale, cover and bring the body back to the centre. Come to sit onto the sit bones, bring the bottom of the feet to touch. And we're going to cool down a little bit in our Baddha Konasana. So sliding the heels a little bit closer to the hips. You can pop some blocks underneath the knees for a bit of support. But we take hold of the feet. Inhale, first the length. And then exhale to forward fold, round into the shoulders, round into the spine. Almost like you want to bring that forehead down to the big toes. Doesn't mean you have to do it. I just mean that's the direction we're sending it in.
On your next breath, we inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, walk the hands back towards the feet. Bring the knees to touch and we immediately extend the legs here, staying rooted on those sit bones. Inhale for length, exhale to forward fold. Remember the goal here is not to touch the tippy toes. The goal is to feel that length and that stretch uh, in the hamstrings. So roll into the shoulders and roll into the spine. Five breaths. Holding for three, for two, and one. Beautiful coven. Inhale to gaze at the tippy toes. Exhale, roll the body up. Final twist. Take a twist to the left hand side. Keep the legs extended. Inhale, move through centre, exhale, take a twist over to the right hand side. Inhale, coven, come back into the centre, lean back, cross the ankles and find your way into any comfortable seat position that you'd like to come in to close this circle, close this practice, either in heroes, keep the legs extended, whatever it feels good to you. But roll shoulders away from the ears, hands to prayer at heart centre, and we bow low, head to heart, with love, with gratitude to ourselves, to the online coven, and as always from me to you, thanking you for joining me here for day one of this Journey to Splits workshop. Yes, I am so excited. I really hope you enjoyed this practice just to bring your mind to the mat and just kind of check in with how those hips are feeling. Remember, it's only day one, so maybe those hips are feeling a little bit tight. Maybe you're still feeling a little bit unsure or a little bit fearful of monkey pose, also known as splits. But if we're going to develop this confidence, we're going to develop the strength and develop our mobility over the next seven days. So I'm super excited to flow with me flow with me. I'm super excited to flow with you. Let me know how you found day one by commenting below or by sending me a message over on my Instagram at the Yogi Witch. But once again, thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for signing up to tier two of the On Coven and thank you for just being so epically magical you. I look forward to seeing you here again tomorrow for day two. Blessed be Coven.